What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a shockwave effect in Sony Vegas. Now this tutorial has been requested many times, and I'm finally going to be doing it. Now before we go any further, here's an example of what you'll be creating. Now hopefully you like it, and it's actually very simple to do, and there's just some simple steps you have to follow in order to do this effect. Now the gameplay I used wasn't actually mine, the gameplay is from Jack Stewart, you can check his channel out in the description as you'll see this is the normal video. So shout out to Jack Stewart for this. And you would have noticed, in the video itself, there was a bass boom. Now that wasn't part of the song, I actually added that in myself, and a link to that will also be in the description. Anyway, let's get into this. So, first things first, I'm going to be dragging on the Battlefield 4 gameplay. And what we're going to do is right click our video, select properties, disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. This will get rid of any ghosting that happens. Now I'm just going to go a bit further up and start it where I want to start. So I'm going to go here, play this through a bit. And then we're going to find out where we want it to stop. And I'm going to stop it right here. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split the clip. I'm then just going to press delete on my keyboard to delete the remaining clip. Now all the sound effects and the music comes at the end. For now we're going to be focusing on the actual elliptical. So the first thing we need to do is find out where the explosion starts. So you can use the arrows on your keyboard or you can use these buttons right here and just find out where the explosion begins. So you can see right there for me. Now press M on your keyboard. This lays down a marker like so. And now right click here, insert a new video track. Then you'll need to come to media generators. If you don't see this right here, then simply come to view, windows layout and select default layout. Now from there, you're gonna to come to color gradient. You're then gonna select the elliptical ring. So you're gonna drag and drop this on right here. And this is what it's going to look like. Now it'll just X out of this for now. You want to come to the compositing mode and you want to change this to custom. From here, you want to select Sony height map. So just double click it. And this is what you'll get. And you'll see the shock wave is slowly creating. Now, all you need to do here is copy down the settings I'm about to show you. So the amplitude can stay at 0.100. The elevation will get rid of these black bars. So I recommend around 0.030. So let's go about a bit more, maybe a bit more, so like 23 maybe. That should be good enough for me. You wanna change the edge pixeling handling to wrap pixels around. And now we're all set from these settings. So you can X out of this. Now before going any further, we need to find out how long we want this shockwave to last. So my shockwave is like that. And as you'll see, you just gotta keep playing through and find out how long you want it to last. So now I only want it to be very quick, so I'm gonna press S on my keyboard to split this and delete on my keyboard to delete the remaining. So this shockwave will be two seconds. It could be a bit long, but we'll find out. So yeah, it might be a bit long, so I'm just going to put it like that. It's about one second, just like that. From here, you want to select Edit Generated Media. This is this button right here, or you can right click and select Edit Generated Media. Now I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so you can see all of it. And the first thing you need to do is select this right here, which is Match Event Length. So you select this. And now the next thing we're going to do is select Animate. So this is involving some keyframing, if you're new to this I will try and keep it very simple but keyframing is a big part in Sony Vegas and it will help you a lot. So first of all make sure sync cursor is checked. Now what this allows you to do, when we move our mouse here, you can see it's also going to move on our timeline and that's going to help us. Just like that, you can see, very simple, just like that. Now what you need to do is come to the very last keyframe by just coming up here and selecting this plus button which says add keyframe just like that and you'll get this diamond now come back to the very start one and select it so you can see this white outline on this keyframe that is what you want 
Now to start off, we need to make this elliptical smaller. So as you'll see, there's numbers one, two, and three, and one by one, we're gonna be making them smaller. So you can see number one makes it go narrow, and that's what we want. Number two, it just makes it, again, the exact sort of the same effect. Um, I'm gonna have it like there. And then number three is where we get more control and we can just bring it in. And I'm just gonna get play with this a bit. Just like that, that is what we want. You can't really see the shockwave at the moment. You can see this little curve right here, but it blends in with this. Now if we exile this and play through what we have, you did see we do get a shockwave, just like that. And you can see there is actually some blue right here which is messing up. So we're going to come back to the edit generated media and we just have to play around with this. So make sure you're on the very first one and I believe it was number one that was messing up so we're just going to drag it out a bit and just like that I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully it's fixed it so we can play through it again. There we go, there's no more blue. So if you do get any of blue things like that, just come back to edit generated media and move the what the number one towards the center a bit. So if we play through it again, that is what we have, and it's really sharp. So if we play through it, you can see it just comes out, boom, disappears like that. So we're gonna make it much more smoother now. So again, edit generated media, and we're coming back to the animating. Now what we're gonna do is press Control C, or you can right click this keyframe and select copy. Now come about three quarters in the clip, so about here, and then simply select Control V. This is gonna paste this exact same one right here. That's what we wanted. Now what you need to do is come to the last keyframe again, make sure you see that white outline. Now select number one, make sure it's set to transparent. Select number two, set this to black, so you get a black outline like so. And now what this will do, it will fade out. So if we play this through, you can see just like that, it's faded out and it looks much more smoother. Now, to be honest, I believe the shockwave is coming in too quick. So I'm just going to adjust it to right, start right here. So I'm just going to drag it to the left, or to the right I mean. I'm also going to drag the marker there as well. And now if we play this part through again. It looks better to me. And I'm going to make it a bit quicker. So again, I'm going to hold control at the end of my clip and just drag it to the left a little bit. So if we play this through, that looks much more better to me. Now you're already done with the shockwave, and that is how simple it is to do. Now the next thing I'm going to be showing you is how to add the music and the bass boom. So the first thing I'm going to add is the music. So I'm just going to drag and drop it underneath. So I'm just going to come to where it drops. Not this drop, because I don't think it's as good. I'm going to come to the drop up here. And the way I'm doing shortening the video down is just selecting, left clicking and drag it. Now what I'm going to do is go right to the drop. Cutting everything out from the start and go to the drop like that. So I'm going to come here and zoom in. And this is why I lay down the marker. Because this is where the music's going to drop. So as you'll see the music drops right here. And now what you can do is just stretch out the rest of the music from there like that. And now just fade it in slowly. And we can select S on our keyboard to end it right here and fade it out as well. And let's play through what we have. And that is how simple it is. It looks already looks much more better just with the music. And now what I'm going to do is insert a new video track. Or audio track I mean. And now I'm going to add on the bass boom itself. So I'm just going to drag and drop it right here. And you'll see there are many different bass booms. Now the one I'm picking is this one right here, the third one. So I'm going to select S on my keyboard. Delete the remaining. Just make sure it's all there. I'm also going to press S on my keyboard here. Delete the remaining. And now I'm going to choose where I want this bass boom to occur. Now I don't want it to happen right here. I actually want it to fade in before, so maybe like that. And I'm going to fade it in like this. Now what's going to happen is going to have the bass drop explosion. 
So if we play this through. And that's exactly what I wanted, just like that. Now, one thing I'm going to do is actually make the gain of the explosion come to 7. Now, why am I doing this? It'll make the explosion much more louder. So, final take. Let's uh, put this a bit better. And let's play this through. And that is it, that is how simple it is to do a shockwave effect in Sony Vegas. As you can tell, it looks super good, super clean, and of course the music and the bass boom makes it sound much more better. Like I said, I will put a download link for the bass boost in the description. If you also want this same song as well, I'll also put a link to it in the description. And like I said, the footage I use, I'll also put a link to that in the description. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when I'm posting on what we're posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I'll post four times a week. And finally check out my Snapchat, I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yes, being casual savage here, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.